Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. It is time to go home to Silverstone and then we are off to Mazzano after that. So uh, let's see how we get on at these two rounds and uh, see if we can continue our winning streak that we've got going at the moment. So let's head over to Silverstone and get our home race underway before heading over to Mazzano. So here we go. Silverstone, it is dry, 100 degrees, medium front, medium rear. Full tank of fuel. Let's go racing. Of course, something from the back of the grid. Let's see how we go. Right, here we go. Five laps around Silverstone. Mm, that was an okay start. We're not in the points yet, though. Oh. Sarko trying to come through. Through Maggots. Nearly into the back of Oliveira. Petrucci's down. And we're down in 18th now. So we've actually lost a position. Zarko did get through momentarily. Okay. And now we're in the points. So just behind Mir. And past. A few of them we go as we go into Stowe. Oh, the inside curve there didn't really want to be there. Bit of a collision there with uh, Miller. Down to Vale. Tenth place. That's fine. Underneath Nakagami. Can we get Rins as well? Yes, we can. So, eighth position. Oh, looks like the leader is getting away already and I think that might be Marquez so we can't hang about we need to try and get past Ooh, try and get past these guys as quick as possible oh okay that didn't work that didn't work now can we get underneath Vinales yes we can okay seventh place at the end of lap one can we get Dovi before the end? Up the inside. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, there we go. Sixth place by the end of the first lap. So that's not bad. But Marquez is pulling away by uh, quite a big margin. He's got a gap and he is uh, trying to make that gap even bigger. We're behind Morbidelli as we try and go up the inside but didn't work. Round the outside, put me up the inside for the next corner. Uh, no, it hasn't worked. Try and get the exit if I can. Okay, didn't work. Didn't work. Morbidelli looking behind him. Alright, use the slipstream. And past we go. Now he's going to try and go the long way around. That's not going to work for him. So we are now into fifth position. All the while Marquez is getting away. But we are now on the back of our fellow Brick Cow Crutchlow. Up the inside of him we go. Or not. Oh. Yeah, okay, we got it. So fourth position now. We're nearly on the podium. We are nearly on the podium. Closing in on Rossi and Quattararo. Can we get underneath Rossi here? No, not quite. Okay, that didn't work. And now we've got him. Okay, third position. Oh, that was close. That was very close to being hit in the back by Rossi. Quattararo's wide there. The gap to Marquez must be at least two seconds now. That is a massive gap he's got. Marquez 57.8 as we go into turn one. So Marquez had the fastest lap on that one. So uh, we might not be able to catch him here. 
Depends what we can do. We'll have to keep an eye on the gap. We don't actually know what the gap is at the moment, but we'll find out when we get to the first split. The gap is 2.3 seconds. I'm not going to chase that down, am I? I don't think so. So I think Marquez is going to win this one. I am still going to push just to see, but I've gone wide there through Stowe to delay Apex though. So 2.3, we'll keep an eye on it, see if it does come down, but I've got a sneaking suspicion it's not going to, although... No, I think that's just the nature of the corners, it looked like he was uh, quite a bit closer, but... No, 2.1, it's come down two tenths. If that's all we do through each sector, it's going to take us quite a while to, to actually catch him. In fact, we'll probably end up running out of time. Come on. Come on. Oh, two seconds. Two seconds. So we've only actually taken another tenth out of him on this lap. We'll see what it is over the line. What's it going to be? He looks a bit closer again. One point seven, fastest lap of the race as well, fifty-seven two. So we took the best part of half a second at Marquez. There, this is a penultimate lap as well. So, can we in fact catch him? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's try a bit harder. 1.3, that gap is coming down very, very quickly now. Got to keep going. Come on, come on, come on, please. Let's try and get it. Home race, we're really closing in now. One second. Oh, have we got enough time? Have we got enough time? We have to see what it is by the end of this lap. We've got one more lap to go. But it's whether we can get close enough. The AI are usually a bit quicker on the final sector. But, oh, going to have to try it. That gap looks less than a second now. It's 0.7. We can do this. We can do this. I mean, we've had to push hard to try and close that gap down, but it is coming down. Come on. Come on, we're close. We are close. Half a second now. Half a second. This is it. The final lap. We've got to do it on this lap. It's now or never. Come on, Yamaha. Let's show them what we can do. Tell you what. That was a good run through turn five and turn six. And now we can slipstream Marquez. Here we go, here we go, past him, into the lead, have we got it stopped? No, we're a little bit wide, but Marquez has gone even wider. We're leading on the final lap, we've had to chase him down. Come on, let's not throw it away now. Okay, so power mapping up to two now. We've got enough fuel to take us to the end, I think. And now we're just starting to edge away from Marquez. I mean, the rear tyre is not in good condition anymore, but it's still doing what it needs to. 
Maybe Marquez's tyres were wearing out. I think he'd gone for a soft rear tyre. Yeah, we've got 0.8 of a second now. We are going to win at home. We can go to Mazzano in a uh, in a good state of mind. Now we come. Okay. And there we go, job done. Well, we had to work for that one. It took us a while to get through everyone, and by the time we got to second, Marquez was 2.3 up the road, but we ended up winning by one second. Well, there we go. That was good fastest lap as well, 57-0. 69 points, nice, over Marquez. And uh, 12 behind Hertz Yamaha, uh, we are Hertz Yamaha, behind the Monster Energy Yamaha team. So, Park Ferme, podium, top of the podium again. This is going to be yet another strong season. Not as strong as Suzuki, but still a very strong one. So I'm thinking, maybe after this season, I will do one more. And then that will be it. Because uh, I know that people's interest in this series has started dropping off. Um, so I think if we do one more season, maybe I'll go to Avintia Ducati for the final season. And then maybe after that we'll either do the actual calendar that they've been running for this season. Although of course we won't have Portomayo unless they're going to add that to the game. And uh, maybe do a... Um, like a 500 GP championship or something. But yeah, we will do one more season for the uh, career mode. And then that will be it. Of course, we've still got Ride 3 on the channel. There is something else that's coming to the channel as well. Um, I've just been having to sort some things out because I've had some issues with it. But uh, yeah, that should be coming very soon. So look out for that on the channel. It's uh, going to be a good one and uh yeah really excited to to be able to to do it so yeah we shall uh, see how that goes down when that goes up on the channel but excited for it and uh yeah like i said has some has some issues trying to sort sort it out um recording wise wasn't looking too great but i managed to adjust some of the settings and it looks a hell of a lot better now so anyway mizano is next Let's just uh, skip the weeks. Oh, uh, I was worried then it's going to get stuck on saving. It's happened to me before and then it took me ages to get the game to work again. Right, Mazzano. Oh, it's raining. So a very wet Mazzano. Track temperature 66, so soft front, soft rear. I was not quickest in warm-up. I was not quickest in warm-up, and uh, usually around here you can be quite a bit quicker than the AI really easily, but not in the rain. Right then, this should be an interesting race. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. A decent start. Don't want to rush into turn one. Wide there. And through turn three, can we make up any positions? Yep, yeah, we're in the points. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, well, I was going to go into the back of Crutchlow there, so we lost positions. And now we're back up to 13th, just behind Paula Spargaro and Jack Miller. Oop. Whoops. Done a Rizal there. <laughs> Went into the back of someone instead of past him. Okay, 10th position. Past Bangyaya up the inside of Elish. Oh, oh. Oh! Rin's had a massive moment there. Massive slide. That was uh, close to me going into him as well, actually. But, uh, yeah, just uh, spun up the rear a bit too much and 
sent himself wide. Luckily he stayed on. But that was close. Oh, that's too hot. Okay. Right, so we have got... Uh, seventh place at the moment. A group of Yamahas together. A group of Yamahas together. We've got Quattararo in uh, fourth. We've got Morbidelli fifth. Vinales in sixth. And me in seventh. I mean, it's, if Dovi was in second, then we would literally have all the Yamahas together. Because Rossi's in second at the moment. Yeah, obviously a strong outing for the Yamahas at the moment. Second, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh as we go past the factory Yamaha of Maverick Vinales. That is sixth position. Now we've got to try and get past the two Petronas Yamahas. use slipstream to get past yes we can there we go fifth position now we've got to try and close down Quattararo and then Dovi and then Rossi and Marquez leading just start to edge away again which isn't good news for me Okay, we're nearly on the back of Quattararo now as we come to the end of lap two. Lap two of seven. Marquez 37-2, 37-0 for me, so uh, 0.2 quicker than Marquez at the moment, which bodes quite well. He hasn't got as big a lead as what he had at Silverstone, so it's not a massive gap we have to try and close down, but we've still got to get past Quattararo, which... Isn't looking like that's going to be easy at the moment. Got to go careful not to spin up through here. Okay. Have we got him? Yeah, we've got fourth position. Now we've got to try and close back in on Dovi. Quattararo trying to get back up the inside but not able to. Little gap to Dovi. Uh, no, that's fine. I thought it was going in a little bit too hot there, but we managed to get the bike stopped. So 0 0.6 is the gap to Dovi at the moment. But that will come down, I would imagine. Tell you what, Marquez is breaking away a little bit more now, which is a bit concerning because I'm not catching these guys very quickly. We've half that gap. I don't know, we're coming to the end of lap three. We're still in fourth place. Oh, big moment there for Dovi. I wasn't able to capitalise on that and get through. So end of lap three, we're going to stay in fourth position. We need to get past Dovi and Rossi as quick as possible. Another fastest lap of the race at 36.6. Not quite able to get through there. Maybe through turn three. And yes, we do. Third position. So Valentino Rossi in second. Mark Marquez leads. wonder what that gap is from Rossi to Marquez. Probably about a second, I'd imagine. But we've got to get past the doctor. Where can we get him? Oh, we've got a better exit there. Can we get him here? Yes, we can. Second position. Is he going to come back up the inside? Nope. Wasn't room. Okay. Well, that worked out a lot better. But one and a half seconds is the gap to Marquez. So we've got a bit of chasing to do. Keep an eye on the gap. But I think we will be able to close it down. 
And I think we have time as well. We're coming to the end of lap four. It's 1.1. Yeah, the, the Yamaha isn't feeling that comfortable in the rain. We'll have to wait and see what we can actually physically do. See what the gap is over the line. Another fast slap, 35.8. And the gap is 0.8. So yeah, I think we can catch Marquez. We've got three laps to go, including this one. Oh, he had a big moment there through turn three. He had a big rear end slide. Yeah, we're really closing in now. Sorry, Mark, but your time at the front is coming to an end. Just got to get past you, and then your lead is gone, mate. Closing in. Okay, try and cut off the exit if we can. Get a good exit. Well, it's kind of worked. We're side by side at the moment. Oh, no. Not quite able to get through there. I think we're going to end lap 5 in 2nd place but we are pretty much with Marquez so we ain't got to worry too much tyres are absolutely fine oh we've got a better exit through the penultimate corner there into lap 6 uh, turn 16 either ok penultimate lap time to wait to the final lap to get past Marquez at Silverstone. He's gone wide again. He's had another rear end slide through three. But we weren't close enough to get past. Trying to make the Yamaha behave through these tighter corners. Oh, slide. A slide from me as well. The inside. No. We're going to have to try something else. Through turn 10. Come on. Again, we didn't quite get the run out of the corner. We close in, but not enough to get through. And towards 13. sure about this we've got one lap to go oh nearly into the back of him nearly straight into the back of him one lap to go to try and get past Marquez it's going to come down to the last lap again just like Silverstone and of course we can put power mapping on to two but there's no point at the moment wait for the straights Marquez goes wide, but he didn't have a massive rear end slide this lap. Okay. Through turn six. Okay, didn't quite have the exit that I was hoping for. Through La Quercia for the final time. Okay, we've got a slightly better exit. Oh, long way around. That's not going to work. Right. And fire the Yamaha out. Oh, it's going to work. We're into the lead. Well, there we go. Can Marquez react to that? Can he fight back? I'm not sure if he can. Oh. 
Right, one corner to go. We are going to win here at a very wet Mazzano. After chasing down Marquez again and getting him on the final lap again. We've done it. Another win. There we go. Dobby ended up in 23rd. Okay. 74 points ahead of Marquez now. So we are looking very, very good for this championship. Okay. Back on the podium. This time with uh, Marquez and Rossi. Again, we had to work for that one. Certainly didn't come easy that time. Just like Silverstone, we had to push. Obviously, pushing in the wet is a bit more dodgy than in the dry. There we go. Another win added to our tally. Right, we are getting towards the end of the season as well. So uh, we should be able to wrap the title up within the next few races. If all goes according to plan. But we have got the likes of uh, Aragon, Mategi, Phillip Island as well. But hopefully we'll have it wrapped up by Phillip Island. I'm hoping. So now the last two seasons at Phillip Island haven't been too bad with the Repsol Honda and the Suzuki. Suzuki we start from the back and still managed to win. So maybe we'll be able to do the same with the Yamaha but I won't know until obviously we get there. Um, yeah. But then again I might be way off the pace again. Just don't know with uh, Phillip Island on this game. Even though it's a great track. Right then. Let's just advance the week. So Aragon next and then Bury Ram. So the standings for the championship, I'm leading that from Marquez at the moment. Uh, Rossi's in third, uh, Vinales is up to fourth and Dovi down to fifth. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and to wash your hands. See you.